straight up go upside down, bro. Which one? We're out here at my favorite spring. My father has not been to a Florida Springs in like over 20 years, so I'm very excited to show him the one that I used to come to all the time. The last time we came here, we actually got to swim with manatees for free because we just got so lucky. It was like during manatee season and there was like a bunch. The gar scare you? Yes. <laughs> yeah, they're big. Right there. Um, change of plans because the water is actually closed for swimming right now. So I am gonna attempt to find us a plan B. Such a bummer. Cause we just walked so much. Um, and it's very hot. It is a few days later and I'm taking my dad to my second favorite springs, which honestly is kind of nicer than the first, but I like the first because it's just a little bit bigger and has like less children. It's more of like a big girl spring, um, but this one's really nice too. Back. <laughs> okay, I just do one of these. <laughs> Some clear ass water. Check. <laughs> so nice. One time I came here, I swam next to a family of otters. Like the coolest thing ever. Thank you. God, how cold was it? <laughs> <laughs> it's freezing. Oh, 
This is like a great example of how the East Coast is literally so easy to like connect and meet people. Um, we've already made a few connections in the river and that is just something that is so, so hard to find on the West Coast. What it is? What did you cook for dinner? Pollo guisado. Okay. ¿Y qué tiene? Guisated chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Potatoes, carrots. What's the base? Olive, olive. Spanish. Spanish olive, tomato Sofrito. sauce. Sofrito. Sofrito, garlic, and then one cubito nork. Hi friends, I am coming to you live from my childhood bathroom in Florida. I briefly mentioned this in like a community post a couple of weeks ago, but I'm actually moving from California to Colorado. I am so sorry for dragging out that announcement for like way too long. It just didn't work out. I was so, so busy the last couple of weeks and it was a little bit of a quick and slightly last minute decision. I promise that my next video will be regarding the entire move, but in this video, I'm currently in Orlando visiting my family before we actually commit to the move. So we've already driven from California to Colorado. And then I figured that I would come and spend a couple of weeks at my dad's house before we actually start the move. To be honest, I wasn't really sure what I was gonna do for this video because if you have an interesting family dynamic like me then you understand that visiting your family is kind of a wild card so I wasn't sure how this was gonna go but so far it's been very chill and the exciting stuff really starts this week I'm gonna take Zach to Universal Studios for the first time. We're visiting a really good friend in West Palm Beach. Today we're going to my Titi Carmen's house. We're gonna go swimming in her pool. This was like the pool that I spent a lot of my childhood in and lost a lot of my teeth. She's gonna make us at Capurias and it's just gonna be a really fun time. So I figured this vlog will kind of be like a chaotic week in my life. Visiting my hometown, I'm not exactly sure, but I will bring you along for the ride. I'm so sorry for the fact that it's not as structured as what I usually go for, but it's better than nothing and I do really want to document this time. So I hope that you enjoy and if you do, please don't forget to subscribe and like and I'll check back in with you guys a little bit later. I'm testing out these car sickness glasses. I saw a girl on Instagram say that not only did it help her, but she could actually read now when she wears them which would be a huge game changer for me. I have no idea how they work. They don't even have actual glass in them. Okay, I'm gonna try and read something. <laughs> this is my brother's cat. <gasps> Hi! ¿Qué cocinaste? Esto se llama alcapurrias. Isaac va a tener el privilegio de comer por primera vez alcapurrias y pastelillos hechos por Titi Carmen con mucho amor. Amazing. Hold on, I'm excited. Wow. Oh, so why did they? Yeah. See, We're at the mall right now. The mall I used to come to all the time as a kid. 
I'm meeting up with one of my friends and I'm gonna buy something. I'll show you later. Cookie witch, please. Okay, this is the outfit. I also did get the red Vitas. Um, and then I'm just taking this little side purse, my fan. I'm taking actually three fans, a neck fan, a hand fan, and this one. Not all for me, obviously. My Merit makeup stick which i don't think is necessary but i want to look cute my tower 28 spray in case my face gets aggravated in the heat i also am taking a setting powder because this helps a lot when i'm sweating and i already know i'm gonna sweat a lot and then the front pocket has some gum spf chapstick my lip tint oh i'm also taking some band-aids because i'm wearing these shoes for the second time, which I know is not the smartest thing to do, but they are very comfortable. Um, and pretty sure my dad gave me band-aids from the 80s. We out here. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I don't think I've mentioned this, but this is actually Zach's first time at Universal Studios. That was insane. That was my first time ever doing the King Kong ride and it was like a complete room of a screen swirling all around us. It was so immersive and so impressive. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this was the Dueling Dragons back in my day. This was it. I know it is wet and the sun is not sunny, but we can have lots of good fun that is funny. <laughs> I used to ride this as a kid with my Didi Galmin. Oh my god, a meteor shower. <laughs> Oh. Best ever. <laughs> um, for this one, they're very old, but I, I can't see now the, the year. We can help you. See it. I don't think you can see it. Hello, little update. We just drove two hours south from Orlando to West Palm Beach area. We're here to visit a friend. I've been friends with Nicole for like almost 10 years now and I was actually in her bridal shower as a bridesmaid. Her and her husband, Brandon, actually had a beautiful daughter a couple of months ago and even though I got to meet her at another friend's wedding in Portland, I'm just excited to get to spend some more quality time with them. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> 
Okay, so even though the weather is trash, I'm still gonna get ready for the beach. I think that it should clear up around 1 p.m. Also, don't look at these. I have to get my nails done. I thought that I would bring you something of value in this vlog and show you my current sweaty day or beach day, I guess you could say, makeup, or at least what I'm gonna do today because I haven't gone to the beach in a long time. Just starting off with some sunscreen. This is the one from Trader Joe's. It has like a matte finish to it and it feels super, super silky. A lot of people have compared this to like the Super Goop one because it's clear, as you can see. I like it. I do think it's a little bit like slippery and it takes a while to actually like absorb into my skin. I prefer my Korean sunscreen, but I'm just trying to finish this one up first. I've been breaking out a lot in Florida. My skin is just not used to this excessive heat and humidity. So it has been hell. <laughs> I'm gonna give that like three minutes to actually absorb because it still feels really slippery on my skin. Okay, so for my face, I'm just gonna do some spot coverage on the areas that look red. I don't wanna put too much because I do go in the water a lot. I'm just using my Merit Complexion Stick. I absolutely love this. I also have this chicken pock that never went away <laughs> on my eyelid. I actually recently watched Hailey Bieber's beach makeup tutorial and I was extremely intrigued by the self tanning contour stick that she used, but it's out of stock right now. So I was not able to order it. So I can't get it right now. I'm just going to use my Merit bronzing stick. I'm just gonna use a little bit just to like warm up my face. This is like a very balmy texture that's really easy to blend out. Recently got this Sonia Kashuk brush and I'm like obsessed. I've been using it more than my beauty blender. I recently just picked this up. I used to use this all the time in high school um, and I'm really glad that it's making a comeback. I use this when they used to have like their little paintbrush applicator. That thing tickled my lips so much. I could never apply it without laughing or just feeling so uncomfortable on my lip. I'm very happy that they changed the applicator and I got this specifically to use on days like this, because I know that it will just last me a really long time. And I love the tint of this blush. I'm just gonna use one finger because it will stain my finger. <laughs> That's like one thing that I don't love about this product is that my finger will be pink probably for the rest of the day. Um, I'm just trying to work it up a little bit. But yeah, it's so easy, so easy. It looks like I'm sunburnt and it's like a flushed cheek. It just doesn't look like makeup, basically. So cute. I don't know if I've talked about this, but I recently got this and I'm absolutely obsessed. It's definitely 100% the best eyebrow glue that I've ever tried. And yes, it's better than the got to be glue, at least the eyebrow version because they changed the formula. This is really, really good stuff right here. It actually lasts. I am running out of it and I'm not gonna do it like too intense since I'm just going to the beach. But I gave in and I got the peel off tint. I have no regrets. I'm actually so, so excited about it. It works incredible. I'm about to show you. Um, and it's perfect for days like this. But aside from that, I've always had like very asymmetrical lips. I've even considered like lip tattoos, lip fillers. And I do feel like this is the second best option. I'm so excited to show you, watch. So this is it. It's, I don't know how to pronounce it. I think Satchu. I got the shade Mauve. Just bear with me because it's a crazy experience. So I'm just gonna use it as kind of like lip liner, but I am gonna try to drag it down to like half my lips so that it doesn't look so abrupt. I find that like one layer is usually enough. There is no point in packing on on top of it. I know it looks crazy. I always have to make a huge effort to line my lips. Okay, I think that's good. I don't leave it on for like five minutes. Um, you can leave it on for up to 20 minutes, but I ain't got that time right now. I don't have a waterproof mascara. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> This one's waterproof. I'll just put like the smallest amount and I think I'm just gonna curl my eyelashes first because even just that makes a really big difference. And then I'm just putting it like on the bottom just to keep the lip. I will say that it's not always like super easy to take off, um, but you can always just like take a napkin and sc scrape it off. I think like the hardest thing is making it look super even um, it seems like I missed some here, but 
Do you see this? This will not come off. Like it will not come off at all, you guys. Okay, so I'm gonna put some of the lip tint over and then just some aquaphor. You definitely want to put something moisturizing on after. I think it looks good other than that little spot right here. I'm not going to lie to you, but trust me, it's only $12 and I have no regrets. I think it's amazing. You can obviously also use it as like a full lipstick, but yeah, so cute. We're riding out the storm at this really cool coffee shop. Um, I love this. Dude, this <laughs> is so freaking cool. How was yesterday? We actually just found out this place is closing today. Forever. <laughs> We're so sad. Can it get wet? You want me to take a video of me like diving? You want me to dive in with it? No, it's <laughs> I didn't I mean, it's only meant to have a hint. <laughs> you don't like it? <laughs> Are we playing though? Yeah. It's game on, baby. <laughs> yes. yes. red blush. You know, this is a crazy one. You want to try it? Huh? Yeah, so this one. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> this. I did it.
Oh. En el mismo medio. Uy, es bling bling. Best cook. Okay. Yeah, what does it say? What's the seasonings? Uh, I... No. It's the Christmas packaging for me. Very moist. She's probably lying. That's what I hope. Oh, Pink Floyd. No. No. That's his birthday gift. He will wear it.